गेट 2022 मेटलर्जिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्वेश्चन 15 द सीक्वेंस ऑफ पीक्स कोरिस्पोंडिंग टू द प्लेन्स ऑब्जर्वड इन एक्सरे डायफ्रेक्टोग्राम ऑफ अ प्योर कॉपर पाउडर सैंपल इज इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट द पाउडर सैंपल इज कॉपर एंड कॉपर इज नोन टू हैव एफसीसी क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर एफसीसी क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर नाउ इफ वी रेफर द एक्सटेंशन रूल्स for fcc crystal it is given that h k and l need to be unmixed by unmixed i mean either all hkls should be even or all of them should be odd okay in that case we can expect some reflections for those planes otherwise the if they are mixed for fcc the reflections will be absent okay so based on this criteria If you look at the four options, one one one, all are odd. Two zero zero, all are even. Here two two zero, all are even. Three one one, all are odd. It re represents a FCC. Fine. While in case of option B, if you look at two one one, one one zero, they have mixed hkls mixed so it is not fcc okay in case of option c again it is also a case of hkl as mixed so it is also not fcc while option d it represents 111200 all are unmixed means either all of them are even or all of them are, are odd so these peaks are also represents a fcc crystal structure now we have to identify the correct sequence okay in order of increasing 2 theta okay so the order of increasing 2 theta the order should be for fcc the values of h square k square l square or order of increasing 2 theta should be in this order 3 4 8 11 12 16 okay now if you look at 1 1 1 4 1 1 the value of h square plus k square plus l square is 3 okay likewise for 2 0 0 it is 4 For two two zero, it's eight, and three one one, it is eleven. Three four eight eleven. Okay, so it is following the proper order. Okay, so our correct option is option A. Why option D is not correct? Although it also represents FCC because here these are swept. 311 peak should come after 220 as per this order as per the h square plus k square plus l square value 311 should come after 220 so that's why this option is wrong to know more about the extinction rules of the cubic crystals please refer lecture 21 x-ray crystallography and diffraction by professor ranjit kumar re and professor s sankran department of metallurgical and materials engineering iisc sibipur and iit madras thank you